should you always eat food if it's cooked for you by somebody else even if you don't like the look of it do you think it's just polite colleen to just give it a try <laughs> what if you don't like it <laughs> well, well, you, well could you not just force well, it a bit, a bit out of out of politeness to your host or hostess who might have cooked it with love for you <coughs> No. Um, <laughs> no, there was one time, I remember a really embarrassing time when it's actually a bit show busy this, but when I was with um, Shane, so it's years ago, and Peter Stringfellow invited us to one of his clubs. Oh! I used dance? to be a celebrity. Did you want to dance? Oh, right. to dance oh, now. Right. What did you have to eat? Well, the thing is, we got there, Peter wasn't there at this point, and we sat down at the table, they brought the menus over, and the only thing we could recognise was the word steak. So we both went, oh, that sounds, you know, you can't go wrong with a steak. But when they brought it, so the guy started preparing it all by the table. And I'm thinking, oh, that's good, it's very posh. Mm. And now he'll take it away and cook it. And of course he didn't, he put it into little burger shaped things. Steak and... ta ta. Oh. <laughs> Did they have a raw egg on it as well? Oh. It's, yeah. it's raw meat and raw egg. Yeah. I turned into Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> I put that steak ta ta. <laughs> I had it in my bread roll, I had it in my handbag, <laughs> I had it in my serviettes. <laughs> I put it around the other side of the table under someone's chair, pretending some animal had run in. <laughs> and um, honestly, I mean, and then I was kind of going, look, we better taste it. But I'm tasting it and I'm like a five-year-old when it comes to food I don't like I instantly <laughs> and then Peter Stringfellow walked in and went oh you're not eating that rubbish are you <laughs> <laughs> and chips. 